Welcome back to 539. Today's exploration brings us back to Toledo, Ohio, where we will be exploring the historic Woodlawn Cemetery in a multi-part series. Founded in 1876, this 144-year-old piece of Midwestern history is home to many elaborate mausoleums, as well as many other pieces of artwork. Originally established on a 160-acre plot outside the city limits, this now massive cemetery is surrounded by urban Toledo. Alright, so let's go ahead and get out and check out this really, really historic and amazing place. Uh, so far these mausoleums are looking uh, huge and really intricately designed. So we're gonna start right here, and there are so many of them here. I don't really know exactly how many, but it looks like we're gonna be able to check out maybe even around 20 of them. And a little bit of damage on this one, but overall in really good condition. And directly behind this first mausoleum here is this really, really tall memorial. It looks like it's probably a family memorial and the individual memorials are down at the bottom here. You can see directly there in the center is actually an armchair. So right here next to where I parked is actually several different mausoleums and the one on this side is incredibly huge and has actually two doors on it which is something that I rarely see. So uh, let's go ahead and check this one out first and see what we can see inside there and then we'll cross the street and check out the other one. This one is massive on the inside. It's like it has eight interments on each side. Some of them aren't used though. And obviously you can see the ones that are. And on this side, it looks like there's a little bit more use. You can see how deep and tall this thing actually is. And then directly behind it is this little riverway and a path over a bridge. It looks like it's technically, uh, well not technically, you can't drive over it any longer. But we can go check it out real quick by foot. Thank you. 
definitely seen its fair share of wear and tear. And not too nice looking of water either. But mostly just mud, so probably looks a lot better during the summer months. And I think really the, the thing is is that it's incredibly shallow, even looking directly down there. You can see right through to the bottom, which appears to only be a few feet. Looks like there's something up in that tree. Yeah, there is. It's some sort of metal box. It might be a bat house. Yeah, it kind of looks like a bat house. And then behind here, you can see a great shot of the bridge. A little bit of bumpy ground. I apologize if the footage is a little bit shaky right now. Wow. On the underside, there's a little bit of graffiti. All right, we're gonna pop back to the car here, grab a new battery, and then head on to a few more here. Somewhere over there, you can see the lights barely in the center here. Is this kind of weird car and it's been hanging out in front of random mausoleums although maybe it looks weird to some when I'm there but it hasn't seemed to be getting out at all uh, waited around at the one I just checked out for about five minutes and then just drove away I don't know if maybe they're just taking photographs from their car or what the case is all right hopping back into the car here I found a little hidden path of sorts anyway uh, as we were exploring the bridge there We can actually turn right before the bridge And go down this incredibly bumpy path here And there's several other mausoleums that are looking out onto the river All right, let's check these out. So it looks like maintenance is still allowed to go over the bridge. Wow. Now this is really old looking. And the glass was just so grimy that I had to actually take some still shots which uh, I just showed you guys. It wouldn't actually focus for the video. And we can go on up the hill here. And see the very top of it.
This is kind of interesting here. Looks like places for urns have just been uh, bore into these rocks. And behind here is the second little mausoleum that's hidden down this little pathway. And once again, that one was so grimy that my camera literally would not focus to do a video, but only for still photos. But still, quite the incredible structure, just sort of going straight into the side of the hill here. And several more of these rocks that have been drilled into and appear to have some sort of urn inside of them. See that gigantic hole, or not hole, but puddle in the middle of the road there. I wasn't sure how deep it was going to be, but it was, wasn't ended up, but it didn't end up too bad. Here's a really interesting uh, mausoleum with a very unique door. And unlike many, this one actually has a completely clear window on the back. I'm not sure if it always did. However, it's pretty hard to see through it. Thank you all so much for joining me on this first part of an amazing adventure in downtown Toledo, Ohio. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, make sure to turn those bell notifications on, and as always, I will see you in our next adventure.